So good morning students. In this class, we are going to talk about electricity. So let's go to the class club. So we are going to talk about we are going to see about conventional current, electron flow, uh, bulb in circuits, cells, batteries. We are going to talk about this. So first we have to uh, introduce in uh, 1882 when it is was uh, sunset in the west that a miracle happened in New York City. When Thomas Alva Edison gently pushed the switch on 14,000 bulbs in 9,000 houses suddenly get lighted up. It was a great invention to a mankind. So Thomas Alva Edison is the main So many countries began using electricity for domestic purposes. 17 years after the New York in 18, uh, 18, 1899, electricity first came to India. The Calcutta Electric Supply Corporation Limited commissioned in the first thermal power plant in India in 1899. That is 17 April. Around 90s, the thermal power station was set up at Basin Bridge in Metra City and the power was distributed to the Government Press General Hospital electric tramways and certain residential areas in Madras. All materials uh, are made up of small particle called atoms. The center of atom is called the nucleus. The nucleus consists of proton and neutron. Protons are positively charged, neutrons are no charge. So negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus in a circular orbit. Electricity is the form of energy that is associated with the electric charge that exists inside the atom. So electric charge is measured in the unit called uh, coulomb. One unit of coulomb is charge of approximately 6.242 into 10 to the power 18 protons or neutrons. Electric charges are generally denoted by the letter Q. So electric uh, circuit, the electric current, we are going to see about what is electric current. The flow of electric charges consists in electric current. For an electrical appliance to work, electric current must flow through it. Uh, an electric current is measured by the amount of electric charge moving per unit time at a point in a circuit. The conventional symbol for current is I. Okay. The unit of uh, electric current is uh, SI unit for measuring an electric current is an ampere, which is the flow of electric charge across the surface at a rate of 1 coulomb per second. So this is the formula to find I is equal to Q divided by T. So current, charge, time. So these are combined with the electrons. So work example, if 30 coulomb of electric charge flow through a wire in 2 minutes, calculate the current in the wire. Solution, given charge is equal to 13 coulomb, time t is equal to 2 minutes into 60 seconds, so 120 seconds. So current I is equal to Q divided by T, that is 30 coulomb divided by 120 seconds, that is 0.25 amp. So another one is conventional current and electron flow. Before discovery of electrons, scientists believed that an electric current consists of moving positive charges. This movement of positive charges is called conventional current. Conventional current is in the direction opposite to electron flow. So this is the main thing that is called it is conventional current. After electrons were discovered, it was known that electron flow actually takes place only the, from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the battery. This movement is known as electron flow. Okay. So, so power is a transmitter from minus to plus symbol. Okay. Measurement of electric current. Electric current is measured using a device called ammeter. So this is the ammeter. The terminal of an ammeter are marked with plus and minus sign. An ammeter you must be connected in series in a circuit. So instruments used to measure smaller current in a milliampere or microampere range are designated as milliampere or microammeter. So this is one, one uh, milliampere equal to 10 minus 3. 
so there is a so formula uh, so there is an uh, problem if uh, 0 0.222 amp current flows through a circuit then the convert current in terms of microampere so if you convert so it is became uh, 2 into 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 6 microampere so this is the thing 2000 um, microampere potential difference electric charges need energy to push them along as circuits water always flow from a higher to lower ground similarly electric charge always flow from a point at a high potential to a point at lower potential an electric current can flow only where there is a when there is a potential difference that is v or potential difference pd okay so unit of potential difference did you ever notice the precaution board while crossing the railway track and electric transformer what does the word high voltage denotes do you know friend do you know students so this is a term mentioned in the board voltage measured for electric potential difference that is SI unit of potential difference volt that is v so potential difference between two points is measured using a device called voltmeter so water at the top of a water flow has more potential water near the basement of water has less potential energy so now we are going to see about what is electrical conductivity and resistivity so resistant and electrical component resist or hinder the flow of electric charge when it is connected in a circuits in a circuits component resist to flow a charge is similar to how a narrow channel resists the flow of water there is a diagram explained there is a small space for uh, to convert okay so the space is minimized in a particular area this is called resistant the higher resistant in a component the higher potential difference needed to move electric charge through the component we can express resistance as a ratio resistant of a component is the ratio of potential difference across it to the current flow it okay this is ohm it is denoted with ohm so what is electric conductivity Electrical conductivity or a specific conductance is measure of material ability to conduct electric current. It is commonly represented by a Greek letter S, that is sigma. Uh, the unit is Siemens or meter, uh, divided by meter, that is SM. Electric resistivity, electrical resistivity is also known as specific electrical resistance or volume resistivity. It's a fundamental property of a material that quantifies how strong the material opposes the electric uh, flow of current. Okay, so this is an analogy of electric current with water flow. Uh, so more water current and less water current. So there is a difference. Okay, this is why uh, this is how the electricity. That uh, is, in the matter of current, we now the flow of it. So, source of electric current that is electrochemical cell or electric cells. Electric cell is something that provides electricity to different devices that are not feed directly or easily by a supply of electricity. In addition to electrochemical, we use electrothermal source for generating electricity for large scale. In gas two terminal, when electric cells are used, chemical reaction takes place inside the cell which produces charges in the cell. So type of uh, cells there is a primary cell that is dry cell commonly used in torches you know no torch la patrpinga alla primary cell but secondary cell it is like a rechargeable cell uh, lithium cylindrical cell or alkaline cell which is used in your uh, mobile phones okay so difference between uh, primary cell and secondary cell it is a primary cell is a chemical reaction inside a primary cell there also the same chemical reaction but is it is it irreversible that is irreversible okay it cannot be recharged it can be recharged secondary cells can be recharged so there are so many examples like accumulator edison calculator nickel iron accumulator etc here it is a mobile phones camera computers uh, devices okay so primary cell it is uh, designed with a zinc uh, inner case cathode graphite rod paste of mno2 these are uh, developed by this uh, acgo sahiso of japan in 1887 a dry cell is a portable form of uh, lech lange cell it is consists of zinc vessel which acts as a negative electrode or anode okay 
The vessel consists of moist paste of a saw dust saturated with a solution of ammonium chloride and zinc chloride. Ammonium chloride acts as an electrolyte and the purpose of zinc chloride is to maintain the moisture of the paste being highly hygroscopic. The carbon rod covered with a brass cap is placed in the middle of the vessel. It is surrounded by a closely packed mixture of charcoal and magnesium dioxide in a muslin bag. MnO2 acts as a depolarizer. The zinc vessel is sealed at the top with a pitch or shell lock. A small hole is provided into it to allow the gases formed by the chemical action to escape. What is batteries? Batteries are a collection of one or more cells whose chemical reaction creates a flow of electron in the circuits. All batteries are made up of three basic components, an anode, a cathode and some kind of electrolyte. Electrolyte is a substance that type chemical rates, uh, react with an anode and cathode. Invention of batteries. One fateful day in uh, 1780s, Italian physicist or uh, physician, biologist, philosopher uh, Luis Galvani was dissecting a frog attached to a brass cock. Hawk. As he touched the frog leg with an iron scalpel, the leg uh, twitched. So, Galani theorized that energy came from a leg it's itself, but this fellow scientist Alexandra Volto believed otherwise. So, he is Alexandra Volto uh, hypothesis that frog leg impulse were uh, actually caused by different metal soak in a liquid. He repeated the experiment using a cloth soak in a uh, brine instead of frog purpose, which resulted in similar voltage. The vault published his finding in. 1791 and later created our first battery volatile pile in 18 centuries. Okay. Electric switch. So these are the some electric switches, tapping key, toggle switch, illuminator switch, plug key, rocker switch and slide switch. So circuit diagrams, these are symbols. So to denote the open close, the bulb, wire, etc. An electric component which is electric circuits closed or open. So, this is a diagram. So, now we are going to see the electric circuit. It is difficult to draw a realistic diagram of a circuit. They have adopted simple symbols for different components in a circuit. We can draw a circuit diagram using these symbols. Symbols for bulbs, cells, switches are shown in the figure. In a cell, the longer line denotes the positive, the terminal. And the shorter line denotes the negative terminal. We shall use this symbol to show components in the circuit we draw. The type of electrical circuits. In the above experiment, we make a circuit with a bulb and cell. We make one kind of circuit with a cell and a bulb. But we can make many types of circuit if we have more than one bulb or cell by connecting this component in different ways. Serious circuits. Two kinds of circuits can be made with two bulbs and cell. In this experiment, we shall make one of them study it. Look at the circuit with two, two bulbs and a cell and a switch given here. The way in which the bulbs have been connected in this circuit is called series connection. The circuit diagram shows the sequence of bulb and cell, not their real, real position. Parallel circuits. This second type of circuits, two bulbs in the circuits are said to be connected in parallel and such circuits are called parallel circuits. So similarity or difference between series and parallel, it's a single loop connection, it's connected by branches. Okay. Bulb share power, bulb fully powered. Okay. So let us see the conductor and insulator. So, electrons, uh, different types of atoms have uh, different degree of freedom to move around with some types of materials such as metals and outermost electrons in the atoms are closely bounded and they are chocolately moved in the space between this atom and material. So, this is the diagram conductors of less resistant to electrons. So next we are going to study about insulators. Those materials which do not have enough free electrons are not good at conducting electricity. Or we can say that they are poor conductor of electricity 
and they are called insulators. An insulator gives a lot of resistance to flow of charge that is electron. So this is the insulator offers more resistance to the electrons. This picture is plain. Effects of electric current. There are three main effects uh, of electricity as heating effect, magnetic effect, that is magnetism and chemical effect. So what is heating effect? When an electric current passes through a wire, the electric energy is converted to here. In heating appliance, the heating element is made up of material which is high melting point. An example of such material is nichrome, an alloy of nickel, iron and chromium. The heating effect of electric current has many practical applications. The electric bulb, geyser, iron, box, immersible water heater are based on the effect. These appliances are heating coil of high resistance. Factor affecting heating effect of current, electric current, resistant, time for which current flow. Electric fuse. Electric fuse is a safety device which is used in household wiring and in many appliances. Electric fuse has a body made up of ceramic and two points for connecting the fuse wire. The fuse wire melts whenever there is a overload of a current in wire. This break current helps preventing damage to costly appliances. So next we are going to see about what is the MCP that is miniature circuit breaker. So miniature circuit breaker have been replaced electric fuse from wiring at most of the places. The electric fuse has a big practical problem whenever the wire fuse one needs to replace the wire to resume electric supply. More often than not this proves to be Kubrin's takes miniature circuit break the circuit automatically. Then we are going to see about what is magnetic effect of electricity. The next effect of electric current is magnetism. In 1819, Hans Christian Oersters discovered the electricity that has magnetic effect. The experiment in activity 5 will help you to understand. So appliance, applications of magnetic effect of electric current that is electromagnet. The magnetic effect of electric current has been used in many power full electromagnets. The electromagnets are also used to remove splinters of steel or iron in hospital dealing with iron injuries. Electron magnets are used in many appliances that we are used in our daily day to day life namely electric bell, cranes, telephone etc. So what is telephone? In telephone a change a changing magnetic effect causes a thin sheet of metal and that is diagram to vibrate. The diagram is made up of metal that can be attracted to a magnet. The diaphragm is attached to a spring that is fixed to a earpiece. When a current flows through the wires, the soft iron bar becomes magnetic. This is become a electromagnet. A person on the other end of the line speaks his voice, causes the current in the circuit to change. This causes the diagram to in the earpiece to vibrate and produce sound. Then finally we are going to see about what is chemical effect of electricity. A chemical reaction happens when electricity passes through a various conducting liquid. This is known as chemical effect of electricity. Okay, You can learn this in the higher classes. So thank you, thank you uh, students. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you all.